Hey guys, Stargazer 1331 back again, bringing you part two of round six. Yeah, I mean, even, I mean, now, the way I have this set up now is that I generally have a 15 battle limit for parts, and the first part actually met that, qual met, actually met that classification, and I can't believe that. Ah, like, Budin just does not want Or and Sailor Venus to die, and I don't fucking get it. Ah, oh, man. Anyway, well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what will happen for the for, for this um, for this team. The freaking femme fatale, Elect Man, and Vega. Mujin, you're really, really not impressing me right now. Okay, that's until that happens. Near Falls victory. Not really that surprised at all. Hey, you gotta love this music from Sonic 3D Blast. And and so the fuck you beam happens. Ah, uh, and, 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 and a nice clean 2-0 victory for Orin Fixed Felix. Oh my god. Now, now I have a feeling that this whole part is going to be nothing but like 20 2-0 victories. I have a strong feeling it's going to happen. I really hope it doesn't, but let's see. Finally! Yes! The Cheat Yukari, you two are fucking gone! Nega Peach and Yukari! Fuck yeah, baby! Yeah, that's right. Fuck you two! You're gone! Yeah, damn near falls freaking for Yukari and Nega Peach in the first round. Rightly so. Ah, you, you gotta love this music from Fur Fighters on um, uh, Vigo's Revenge on the PS2. Wow, man. Talk about the ultimate fuck you combo right there, man. Man. What, what, a, what a way to go, man. That is just... Un that is an unbelievable end to a freaking crazy-ass duo such as um, Aura and Nega Peach. Like, what the freaking hell is up with that team, man? I know part of it was the, the fact that me believing the game could have easily sick, like, you know, sick Dark Doll on them in, like, the beginning, but that just didn't happen. Man, after seeing that, I'm still gonna continue Aura whenever, whenever I see her, but, I don't know, just, just know that if Aura appears, just beware for her to continue on a long time, especially depending on who, on who her partner is. But, again, for most... I'd say probably maybe about a third of third of those wins were round three were 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 two to one victories, meaning that they could have easily lost, but they didn't. So that right there is a strong case for keeping Aura as a continuing character. But just expect her to go on a while. I mean, I I now, I now know that, so I'm no longer um uh, na I'm no longer like naive to that anymore. I definitely now know that she truly is capable of just rate of just unleashing a load of. A load of pain on anyone she encounters, if, if if provoked. Well, and now what? Now what I did in the fourth tournament was that I would I would let the round go on even if a cheap character appeared early. I'm not going to do that anymore. If a round now goes into them to, to multiple parts, it's pretty much sudden death. And by that meaning that as soon as a cheap character appears in that part, I'm just going to end it right then and there. 
So from now on, whenever it goes into another part, it'll it'll yeah it'll it, it will be it will it will be sudden death. And that said, that, that said, I hope you enjoyed this crazy sixth round, but a pretty pretty good one. I'll I'll say that even if it was maybe a little bit stressful with some very close wins. But I hope you enjoyed this, and that said, stay tuned for round seven of the fifth random survival tournament coming up soon.